After yet another two week international break, we are back with another fan episode right here on Stockholics TV. My name is Ben, your host, and we're about to showcase the big game of the weekend in the greatest league that Europe has to offer. It's the English Premier League, of course. It's week number 12, and this game is massive for the weekend. We are seeing two sets of teams fans with long history of hate towards each other. I'm talking none other than the North London derby. It's Arsenal versus Tottenham Hotspur. Now, both teams need three points for a win to chase the league leaders at Manchester City. So it is a big game of importance today. Let's see what happens right here. Come on, Arsenal. North London derby, the biggest game in Arsenal's calendar. How are you feeling on this one? Feeling pretty good, you know. We always, we usually end up on top, you know. So, you know, six o'clock in the morning, I woke up to get out here and hopefully, you know, we have a good, uh, we have a good game. Predictions for the game? 2-2. Two, two. I'd like to say we can win, but actually, when you look at the season so far, you'd have to say it's going to be a tough job, even at home. Score prediction. Big game happening right now, North London Derby. What do you think, sir? Well, I'm here to give high fives to all the Gooners, so as long as we score five, I don't care. I mean, they've never scored over four goals, I believe, so I, I can predict five goals today. Some people are saying that the power has now shifted towards Tottenham being the better team between the rivalries. Uh, some experts saying that. Would you believe them to some extent or are you still confident that Arsenal are the better team? I think Tottenham is definitely strong this season but you know I think when Arsenal is playing well they're, they're playing extremely well so I think the inconsistency this year has sort of been uh, a little bit off but you know the season is still early but you know hopefully we'll come through this one with a big win. We want to talk about the summer signings so far. How have, how have think they've been doing Lacazette and Klesniak? Are you happy with their progress? Happy with both of them. I think Laka would do better if he was getting a little bit more game time, but it's great to see him starting today. Kalas and Hatchers look great, with real strength in there, and they're great going forward from behind. I know we're still early in the season, but obviously Man City are playing the form of their life at the moment. Where do you see Arsenal ending up by coming at the end? Well, I, there's a lot of where I'd like them to end up, but uh, no, I mean, uh, just after what happened last season, you know, we. We've got to get a top four finish. It doesn't look like anybody's going to catch City, but it's November, so anything can happen. There's a lot of games to go. I mean, I think over the Christmas period, that is really going to tell, you know, a big story because there's a lot of games in a short period of time. So, um, you know, I just this is a big game. We've got to get three points out of this. We've got United coming up. We've got to win the big games. Now, as a fan yourself, as well as me, do you feel like Arsenal are just not really in the same league? as teams like Man especially Manchester City, Man United, even Chelsea, with their form. Do you feel like Arsenal are not quite there yet? Uh, in, in terms of form, yes. Uh, but in terms of personnel that we have, I think we are quite there. It's just a matter of mentality. And I think that needs to change with the fans. I've been watching Arsenal fan TV and I've seen, I've been, uh, you know, uh, chatting online as well with, with our T. Gunners here. And I think there is, there is some, some sort of resentment and that needs to change from us. I know there is only so much that uh, we can do as fans, but we can get behind the team. And that's where it all begins, because yeah, yeah. the fans are the voice of our team. versus the old enemy Spurs and what a great feeling it means to all these fans here. It's amazing. I want to say thank you to Midtown Cash Out for having us and we'll see you next time for a great episode right here on Soccerholics TV.